I'm trying to focus in the next couple of problems on negative signs in front of the parentheses. Again, it's a big area that causes students some trouble. So please, um, the next two problems both have that scenario. Um, this reads 6b minus all of what's in the parentheses there. You can think of it in one of two ways. You can think of it as me asking you to add the opposite. Let me just write this. Swipe, swipe. Add the opposite of both of those. So the opposite of 3b is a negative 3b, and the opposite of a positive 8 is a minus 8. That's one way to think about it. Let's, let's put that minus sign back in there. The other way is to think that there's a coefficient of a negative 1 in front of the parentheses. And so I'm asking you to multiply both of those terms by a negative 1. So a negative 1 times 3b is a minus 3b, or a negative 3b. And a negative 1 times a positive 8 is a negative 8, which is the same thing as minus 8 plus a negative 8 is the same thing. And you've gotten rid of the parentheses symbols because of the minus sign that was one in front. So again, please notice it was 3b plus 8 it became a negative 3b minus 8. And because there are three terms on this side of the equation, there must be some like terms. They are right there. 6b minus 3b is 3b. And then I'm going to go ahead now and isolate the variable b by adding 8 to both sides of this equation. And then finally, dividing both sides by 3 and finding out that B has a solution of a positive 8. Let's go ahead and check this one. I'm going to pause just a minute, maybe get rid of the arrows, erase my work. So I want to check this solution. I want to put it in everywhere I see B in this problem. I want to put it in 8. So up front here I have 6 times 8. That'll be 48 in a minute, but I do what's in the parentheses first via order of operations. Minus 3 times b, which is 8, plus that 8, and then close those parentheses. So order of operations says do what's in these parentheses, and with those, within those I need to multiply first. So 24 plus 8 will be 32 here in a minute. I'm really being fastidious here, and I'm just step by step following all the rules. So 24 plus 8 is 32. I'm, I'm not even going to do this 6 times 8 yet because I wanted you to see me finish what's in the parentheses. Now I will multiply. 6 times 8 is 48 minus 32. 48 minus 32 appears to be 16. And lo and behold, that is what I wanted it to be equal to. And I can say that when I take that solution and put it into the original equation, I get a true statement. That 16 on the right side is equal to 16 on the left side. Let's do another. So parentheses, minus signs, collecting like terms, all kinds of things going on here. I'm asking you to give me the opposite of everything that's in there. Or you can think I'm asking you to take a negative 1 times that 2 and get a negative 2c. And a negative 1 times a positive 2 is a negative 2 and bring down your 13. We've gotten rid of the parentheses on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, let's distribute. This one's easy. Positive 2 times c is a positive 2c. And 2 times 2 is a positive 4. And bring down your 3c. Collect your like terms. On the left side, 13 minus 2 is 11. I like to put the, the term with the uh, variable in it first. And then bring the 11 down. And then 2c plus 3c, again, like terms, they add to be 5c. And I'm ready to use the addition principle a couple of times. I'm going to choose to add 2c to both sides. I'm going to have a little bit of space limitations here. And 5 and 2 is 7c. And then I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. 
and I have 7 equals 7C. Seven I'm going to bring that over here. 7 equals 7C, seven and I'll divide both sides by 7 and find out that C is equal to the number 1. Again, you know, go back in and check that like we did in the previous problem and check that you get a true statement when it's all said and done. I'm going to pause here again, um, bring another problem back with some percentages and, I'm sorry, with parentheses, and then we're going to look at something with decimals.